What's up everyone? Welcome back to Starfield. Last episode I created my build here for my character. So I picked Pilgrim. I picked Hero Warshipped uh, because of Oblivion. The fan from Oblivion. And then Terraforma. And then Wanted. So that's my traits in my background. Let's go ahead and finish here. And we're going to name myself Razor XP, of course. Oops. Perfect. Good to go. You listed Pilgrim on your application. Don't see many people on spiritual journeys in this line of work. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way, then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? It's our payday, that's what. Sooner we get it off our hands, the sooner it isn't our problem anymore. Huh. Well, you passed out, that's for sure. Everything else, probably just your brain playing tricks. Either way, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. I think I'm going to stick with first uh, first person, honestly. Let's explore around here. Maybe we can pick up stuff. Okay, folder. Sports bottle. Swabs. <laughs> Pen and notepad. This is just like oblivion. Picking up like random stuff. I'm gonna pick up everything, by the way. That's how I. I remember when I played Fallout 3 and just I just basically picked up everything. I'm gonna fill up my inventory really fast and just walk around over encumbered. Vacuum tape. Wrench. By the way, dude, I'm gonna take all your stuff. Cred, cred stick. I guess that's money. Yeah, it's money. You can sit in the stool. Don't want to sit down though. Syringe. Scalpel. Making sure I don't miss anything. I'll pick up everything. Staple gun. Marker. Desktop organizer. I think if I remember correctly, a lot of that stuff was useless in Oblivion though. A lot of the stuff you picked up, you just sell it, right? Like I never kept a lot of this a lot of this stuff, I just sold it. I'd like keep one of everything. That's what I normally do in a lot of games. So I'll probably keep one of each of these items. 
and just sell the rest for money. Yeah, all right. You need some coffee or something? Got a package around here somewhere. This has been a good run. You lucked out being picked up for this one. If you love loot, you're playing you you're playing the right type of game of Bethesda game. You gotta love all the loot that you can pick up and everything. I love this stuff. I, I love doing this. Spot. On space mining, okay. Chapter three: Mining suit maintenance. Of all the hazards that exist out there in space, you'll find yourself easily forgetting about CO two buildup in your respirator. That's a huge mistake. Even a small amount of CO2 is going to add up over the course of of your day. Sapping just a little bit of life out of you when you need it. Running is harder. Swinging that cutter around takes one more huff than you want. And when a funnel collapses, you want to be moving as fast and it Cross as long a distance as possible. Invest in a good helmet. Trust me. The rest of the ch chapter continues to recite the importance of quality equipment. Oh, sure. Just take my stuff. All yours. <laughs> yeah, just take it right in front of you. Lynn sure seems to like you. Guess she would know. Being the boss and all. Tell her putting that first aid seminar to work on you, huh? You fitting in okay? Mining crews ain't the friendliest, but they're good folks. Ugh, shifts seem to be getting longer. That's Argos for you. Squeeze every credit they can. You're lucky. I've been with some outfits that didn't even bother packing medical. You take care of yourself out there. Uh, busy. Talk to you later. Alright, so we gotta go that way. Let's go the other ways first, though, obviously. Argos usually ain't so good at picking sites. Oh, this time, like a miracle. You got a few more digs to go. Don't get too used to how again. easy this has been. Next dig might be uh, toxic hazards or worse. Yeah? Something you need? Yeah. Or is personal journal log one. Okay. That was good that it read for me. Yeah, all right. You need some coffee or something? Got a package around here somewhere. Uh, you think we'll be done here soon? You know, I hear this is the last dig. I'm glad when we're off this rock. Snack pack, protein bar. Restores five health. Tweezers and ping pong ball. Personal groomer. And iso centered magnet. Cheddar snack crackers. like something you'd see in like a ration or something like an MRE right slipper two right slippers what the heck where's the left slipper thermos did you pick I guess that's like a lock pick except this game's form of lock picking I guess used for lock picking Dish rag. This has been a good run. You lucked out being picked up for this one. Fire extinguisher. <laughs> it's so awesome to just loot everything. 
I haven't done this in a long time. It's been a long time since I've played Fallout 3 and Oblivion. There's left slipper, right slipper. Now we're putting that first aid seminar to work on you, huh? I'm busy. Is there anyone else to bother? Soap dispenser. Jar. So, a few more digs to go before I feel like talking to you. Just trying to get through my shift. What? Ah, oh, I'm working. I don't give a damn if you're working, bro. Get out of my way. Dude, move. I'm gonna steal your slippers, bro. Granola mix. Drink pack milk. Pill bottle, medical injector. Dude, move, bro. Nothing in that one. Surgical tray. Tissues, toilet paper, notepad, notebook. It's hard to even get over there because the stuff's in the way. Cosmetic supply box, skin cream bottle. We can get a plunger. <laughs> Toilet paper tube. Tissues. Toilet paper tube again. Soap dispenser. The Orchard Merchant. I love you, said the Orchard Merchant. And I love you, my dearest, said Vincenza in return. But our passion, how long can it last? For our families will never approve of our union. Perhaps not. My dearest Versenza. Perhaps not. He said, pushing an orchid into her lovely black hair. But we don't need them anyway. The Orchid Merchant, written by Carlita Carr and published in 2025, has become one of the fastest selling romance novels in settled systems history. Bleak House, Chapter 1, in Chancery, London, Michaelmas Farm, or term, lately over, and the Lord Chancellor sitting in Lincoln's Inn Hall, Implacable November went weather, as much mud in the streets as if the waters had but newly retired from the face of the earth, and it would not be Wonderful to meet a Megalosaurus. Ooh, that might be an enemy I'll be fighting later. 40 feet long or so. Weddling like an elephantine lizard up Holborn Hill. Smoke lowering down from chimney pots. Chimney pot, uh, pots. Making a soft black dr drizzle with a with flakes of suit in it as big as full-grown snowflakes going in the morning one might imagine for the death of the sun dogs undis indistingu indistinguishable and mire horses scarcely better splashed through their very blinkers foot passengers jostling one another's umbrellas in a general infection of ill temper and losing their foothold at street corners where tens of thousands of other foot passengers have been slip, 
being in slotting since the day broke. If this day ever broke, adding new deposits to the crust upon crust of mud sticking at their points tenaciously to the pavement and accumulating a compound interest considered by some experts to be the best novel Charles Dickens had ever written. Bleak House is a scathing satire, satire of the British judiciary system. Nicholas Nickleby, Chapter 1, introduces all the rest. There once lived in a sequestered part of the county of Devonshire, one Mr. Godfrey Nickleby, a worthy gentleman who, taking into it into his head rather late in life that he must get married and not being young enough to rich or rich enough to aspire to the hand of a lady of fortune had wedded an old flame out of mere attachment who in her turn had taken him for the same reason thus two people who could not afford to play cards for money sometimes that sit down to a quiet game for love. Charles Dickens' third novel is the tale of a young man who struggles to support his family after his family inadvertently plunges them into poverty then dies. Yeah, so this is very similar to like Oblivion and Skyrim and Fallout. Yeah, like these books lying around that you can read and everything and so yeah, people were right in describing this as a, as like Fallout in space or Skyrim in space. Like it's pretty accurate. It's a Bethesda game. And I hope you guys like me reading all those books and everything and me gathering all the loot and everything because that's what I'm going to be doing. Treats brain injury, concussion, heat stroke, hernia. Hypothermia, lung damage, poisoning, and radiation poisoning injector. Because this is what I did in Oblivion and Fallout 3. I picked up literally everything. How do I... Yeah, we can go here and... So our mass is 56 of 135. We can hold up to 135, okay. Okay. Okay, we're on Vectera, okay. Okay. That's where we're at right now. How do I just exit this? I didn't even want to go here. There we go. Check out skills too. You receive one skill point to spend every time you level up. Each skill also unlocks a challenge. Complete the challenge then, and then spend a skill point to rank up the skill. So just like Skyrim and Oblivion. Um, I'm pretty sure you didn't have to do that in uh, Fallout. But I know in Skyrim and Oblivion you have to... Like, I remember having to like jump or whatever to increase your acrobatics... Or you had to, like, use a particular weapon to be better with that weapon. And, like, magic. Got to keep casting the spell over and over again. The top now represents basic skills. The rows below are locked until you have spent a minimum number of skills points in that category. Okay. Yeah, so we start with gastro and scavenging. There's a chance you'll find extra ammo. Okay, that's cool. So yeah, there's physical, social, combat, science, and tech. Okay. 
That's another level of zoom to the hand scanner, and scan distance is increased by 30 meters. Okay. You can increase it up to 50. Well, 50, 40, and 30. I guess they all... So I guess it'd be a total of 120. Okay. Well, we can check the inventory. I think we picked up some items. Tunnel mining pack. Okay, I think we got a helmet from one of the people then. Here we go, we got a mining helmet. Because we stole that one person's helmet. Minor utility outfit, plus five health. Airborne 10. Energy goes up, but my physical goes down. This one doesn't have any effects on it. Okay, this boosts. Oh, this thing has more mass. Plus. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, you can read the notes again as well. You're lucky. I think we explored all this stuff, right? Toilet paper. Oh, we can actually grab the toilet paper. Oh, you can flip it. Okay. We take that plunger though. Got to grab the plungers. Argos usually ain't so good at picking sites. Oh, this time, like a miracle. What the heck are you doing? Get out of here. Follow me into the bathroom, you weirdo. Don't get too used to how easy this has been. Next dig might be a toxic hazard or worse. Oh, while we're in here. Bounce chicka wow wow. <laughs> Alright, yeah. You got okay, I think we explored else. everything around here. I'm pretty sure. I like to be thorough though, you know. So we're good on that over there. Probably not going to go that way yet. Drink pack water storage box. Door locked. Oh, you have to you have to be a master lock picker to get through there. Wow. Heller's personal log personal number two. Log. Heller, Argos extractors. I figured Vectera for your standard moon. Looks like I was misinformed. Lynn just filled me in on what we're really doing here. Looks like Lynn's got another. What's the word she used? Discreet contract with that Barrett guy. He says there's something special here, and he's paying top dollar for us to find it, rip it out, and deliver it, no questions asked. I have, of course, been honoring this arrangement by asking Lynn a ton of questions. She's playing it close to her sweaty old best, as usual. 
But a guy does have to wonder, what the hell does special even mean in this case? We're on a moon, in the middle of nowhere. Either this guy wants to make jewelry from some rare space diamonds, or there's some kind of ancient alien death weapon buried here. If it's diamonds, I'm totally stealing one to give to Jennifer. Or Carlos. Or Naya. And if it's a death weapon, I get to shoot it first. Those are my terms. Okay, I could have scrolled down, okay. And back down there, okay. Pipe wrench. Bolt cutter. Sports bottle. Steel bottle. Another fire extinguisher. Yeah, I don't want to go this way though. I don't want to use this right now. We'll go that way later. How they sucker you to join? Fall for the fancy tactic? We haven't explored over here yet. Yeah. We'll be exploring everywhere, so hope you guys yeah. like this that style of gameplay because that's what I'm going to be doing. That's what I do. Well, I love to explore. That's why I'm playing this game. I'm going to be exploring a lot of the planets. Supervisor's log Supervisor's number one. Extractors Vectera Dig, Freestar Collective Claim ID Beta 7548 Alpha. Fight setup was fairly painless. New record for us 18 hours, including the elevator. The prefabs are starting to show their age, though. Time to rebudget for new equipment. Again. The crew is good. Spirits are high enough. Hella is a pain in my ass, as always, and completely indispensable. What's the saying? The problem is, I love him, and he knows it. Ugh. Calvert remains the weak link. He just can't train away stupid. But she's got a daughter on Mars or someplace and needs the cred, so she gets one more chance. If she does wash out in the end, we've still got the Dusty. And there's definitely some promise there. Okay. Busy. Zero wire. That one's pretty heavy. Don't care if you're busy, bro. I'm busy too. I'm busy looting the shit around busy. here. Busy. There anyone else to pop? You got a few more digs to go before I feel like talking to you. This has been a good run. Just trying to get through my shit. out being picked up for this one. What? Ah. Oh. I'm working. Argos usually ain't so good at picking sights. Oh, this time, like a miracle. Don't get too used to how easy this has been. Next dig might be uh, toxic hazards or worse. Yeah? Something you need? Yeah, some booty. Bend over. I think we got everything. Well, probably. We probably missed some stuff, but whatever. We don't need to get everything. Even though we do. We have to get every damn item. What the? Where do I save it? There we go. Oh, it's been auto-saving the whole time. Hey, you alright? Maybe don't do any heavy lifting for a while? Not interested. Whatever it is. Playing card. I take 
all the cards. Foam cup. Desktop globe sculpture. You got somewhere else to be. Yeah, hey. your mom's house. Busy. I'm busy. Anyone else to bother? Yeah, all right. Red Harvest White. Need some coffee or something? Got a package around here somewhere. You got a few more digs to go before I feel like talking to you. Uh, you think we'll be done here soon? You know, I hear this is the last dig. I'm glad when we're off this rock. Hey, that was my sandwich. <laughs> Just trying to get through my shift. Sorry, bro. I'm taking everything you own. Give me that fork. <laughs> Eller putting that first aid seminar to work on you. Huh? I love this so much. Go around looting everything, all these useless items. How they suck are you to join? Fall for the fancy pamphlets? What a tablet. Lemon. Blue stylus. Lynn sure seems to like you. Guess she would know, being the boss and all. Medic sampler bottle. Blue flooded dart. In okay? Mining crews ain't the friendliest, but they're good folks. Browser's log number two, then we turn it up before I hit it. Supervisor's log supplemental. Still day two of Argos Extractor's Vectera dig. Restart collective claim ID beta 7548 alpha. As far as anyone knows, this is just another ore run. Vectera's got enough mid-level veins to keep everyone working and not asking questions. I've told Hella everything he needs to know, which is pretty much everything I know. That this is another one of Barrett's special orders. He made good with the payment for Kazal, even if it was a bust. This time, I'm not so sure. This place is giving me the willies. I think we're going to find... something. I just have no idea what it could be, or why Barrett might want it. But... Those sweet constellation credits mean we dig our holes and keep our mouths shut. And I'm okay with that. Hopefully, between Barrett's mysterious thing and the ore itself, we'll be done with this rock in five days, when the transport is supposed to come back for extraction. All right. Cutter. Cutter crate. Uh, shifts seem to be getting longer. That's Argos for you. Squeeze Good for you. I don't really care. Can. Close that crate. What? Colonists uh, wanted. I'm working. You're lucky. I'm 
Inspection soon. Get together, people. Reminder, clean your space suit after each use. If you feel sick, please report to the med staff immediately. Can't read that. It's too small. Oh, I get the cup. Missed the fire extinguisher too. Huh? <laughs> That's something like you would see him like fall out. Take care of yourself out there. Know the working basic rights. All right. Solid, huh? I'm gonna end the video here. Um. Kind of want to keep my episodes around 30 minutes or whatever. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.